Welcome back to our Growing Together Sabbath School. My name is Pastor Viana, and this month we are covering the theme of when life gets hard. Each day, each of us experience many different feelings, some good ones and some not so good ones. Today, we are going to learn about a woman who felt very sad. Her name was Naomi, and she lived a long time ago. She experienced some very difficult times that left her feeling extremely sad and empty. There was even a point in her life where she felt like God was against her. She was filled with what we would now call depression and anxiety. But even though she was very sad, God was right there with her and God helped her become happy again. So let's dive right into our story. The Bible tells the story of a woman named Naomi. At the beginning of the story, Naomi was married, had two sons, and lived in Bethlehem. She was happy, but Naomi's husband wanted to move away from Bethlehem because there wasn't enough food. So Naomi and her family moved far away to a place called Moab, where they had no family or friends. Have any of you ever had to move? It's not always easy to move, but Naomi's husband felt it was the right choice so he could take care of his family. The two sons both got married and life was good for Naomi's family, but then some terrible things occurred. First, Naomi's husband died. Then, not one, but both of her sons died. Can you imagine how awful this must have been for Naomi? Remember last week when we talked about death and the deep sadness that people feel when someone they love dies? Naomi didn't ch just lose one, but three special people in her life. How do you think she felt? The Bible actually tells us exactly how she felt. Naomi really believed God wasn't there for her anymore. She felt like God was against her and took her family from her to punish her. What an awful feeling this must have been. It was at this point, Naomi decided to return to Bethlehem. One of her daughters-in-law, Ruth, chose to go with her. The Bible tells us when Naomi and Ruth finally arrived in Bethlehem, the people of the town came to greet Naomi, but she told the people to call her by a different name. Naomi told the people, don't call me Naomi, call me Mara, because God all-powerful has made my life very sad. When I left, I had all I wanted, but now the Lord has brought me home with nothing. So why should you call me Naomi when the Lord has spoken against me? God all-powerful has given me so much trouble. Naomi may have felt bitter because of what she was going through. She might even have felt some bitterness towards God. Do you know what the word bitter means? Bitterness is when you're really angry and you really, really don't like something or someone. Do you think Naomi may have become scared or worried about her future? Do you think it may have been hard for her to keep her mind focused on all the good things she still had in her life? Do you think she might have felt sad and hopeless? You know, I'm sure Naomi battled with all of those things we just mentioned, but God, didn't leave Naomi. His hand was never against her like she thought. He was right there with her the whole time, even though there were moments when she felt like he wasn't. And over time, guess what? Her life became sweet again and her heart felt full, not empty. So Naomi's story shows us that even when we lose hope and we're filled with sadness and worry, maybe we feel lost or empty, God is always with us. We just need to keep looking to Him. Do any of you know the ending to Naomi's story? Well, after moving to Moab, Naomi's daughter-in-law Ruth married a man named Boaz, who was a believer in God. Throughout Naomi's story, we can see how God was with her 
especially during the difficult times. Ruth and Boaz had a son named Obed. He would later become the grandfather of King David. And it was through this family that Jesus was born. When we are still struggling with sadness, worry, or fear, it can sometimes feel like we're in this deep, dark pit. But remember, our verse for this month says, I waited patiently for the Lord, and He heard my cry. He lifted me out of the pit of destruction, out of the sticky mud. He stood me on a rock. He made my feet steady, and He put a new song in my mouth. It was a song of praise to our God. How can these verses help us during these times? They remind us that God is with us as we walk that journey. He was with Naomi and He is always with us. May you never forget that. Well, that's all for today. We'll see you next week.